all right so for this video i'm making this because of the unity discord official server and the repetitive questions that comes up and that fact i've been uh, answering them on a regular basis so to make it simple i will try and just post the videos when the same question pops up so what's going on here is you can see that there's a little gap in shadow sometimes when you do your writing and you want to try and solve it normally it is because the shadow bias is on default settings and needs to be reduced a little bit so if i start sliding this you'll see that it changes the shadow settings and that's basically one of the reasons that you have the gaps or unconnected shadows in your project so try and work on the settings and numbers you can go pretty low but i keep it at 0 0.01 normally myself you can use the nail plane as well to kind of connect the things that are still missing out on the distance all right uh, i don't normally just touch normal bias but some people will do it but it doesn't necessarily do a lot in this particular case Another scenario is when the light connects to the other side. Normally, it's actually not the shadow bias. It can be shadow bias, but in this uh, context, uh, it's not necessarily shadow bias that's the issue. But what you do see the, that shadow bias is the issue in terms of the the overall lighting of the scene. So even though the light is coming through the wall, which is often because of the uh, thickness of the wall for example you can see there's no shadow around the room even though it, this is light so let's try and connect it by reducing the shadow bias and you'll see that it's starting to block the light a bit more on the other side of the level right so that you can find the proper setting by connecting and sliding you can see it i, I took it a bit too low so it still have an issue but the main issue here though is not necessarily the shadow bias setting even though it would solve it is in fact that the shadow strength is set on 0 0.8 so that's why the light is coming through and you're not seeing any effect going on uh, when i'm doing the baking or the adjustment for that matter so if i increase the shadow strength you'll see it's blocking now that's why i advise people not to use shadow strength to simulate light bouncing or getting softer shadows because it actually invites other issues that you think might should have been solved by using shadow bias but that is not the case when it comes to these scenarios now if it doesn't solve and you're actually baking this is a common issue when you're baking and then you can actually uh, let's assume I'm baking now and the shadow comes through that is in fact often because of the walls two-sided issues if the wall is not set to two-sided and it's still casting a shadow you can always just add a, the cube in the middle you know just pretend that we're doing it now and you can scale it put it in between and when you do the bake it would not necessarily cast light on the other side now you might be wondering okay but the object is in the middle of the scene i don't want it to be in the middle of the scene that's not necessarily a problem uh, like i said you can uh, select an object this is a cube and just do shadows only you could see that it said two-sided shadows only uh, you can do that on the wall itself to solve it first so that's the gist of it there are different reasons for things happening uh, hopefully this gives you an insight of one way of solving this problem so hopefully you can subscribe stay in touch i will keep making videos if i see repetitive questions pop up over at the unity official unity discord server thanks for watching and have a nice day or night or evening goodbye